Alright everyone, this is GameGuy1984 here, and this time we will be continu continuing onward with our let's play or playthrough, whatever you want to call it, of Super Demo World. This is Salty Isle, and when we last left on, the water is warm in these parts, but I wouldn't taste it if I were you. Yuck, oh yes, okay. If you say so. But anyways, when we last left off. I finished World 1 and I was in the middle of a bit of a rant and I'm gonna continue my rant here and now. Anyway, I was talking about like Chrono Trigger, about being the Scholar Project being cease and desist, about how this copyright crap has ruined the ruined the chances of seeing such creative projects come to fruition. And now I'm going to talk about another creative project that would have been great if it came to fruit 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 fruition 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 where we call it like would have fruit bear fruit something like that you know bear fruit you know fruition you know how you pronounce that word anyways another project that could have been possible if not for this copyright crap was called my little pony fighting is magic now, for some of you that don't know, I am actually a brony. I'm proud to be one as, as well. I got into My Little Pony a long while ago, almost a year ago. And ever since then, I haven't looked back. And I can't believe I died. What the hell? But anyways, I'm a brony. And... Oh great, um, oh great, I died. Well anyways, like I said, I'm a brony. And I have a love for My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Now, why am I bringing this up? Because of a certain fan game that was, fan game that was created. But I also fell victim to the C&D shit, you know? That would be called... My Little Pony Fighting is Magic is basically the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic characters starting with the main six which are Twilight Sparkle, Apple Jack, Rarity, Fluttershy, Rainbow Dash, and Pinkie Pie. There were characters in the what oh no please no 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 Thank goodness he got away. Anyway, there were characters I really gotta hope that don't, doesn't happen again, seriously. Anyway, there were characters from the original series into the um, fan game. It was basically a 2D fighting game reminiscent of Street Fighter Alpha. The good old fighting games that we kind of grew up and loved. Kind of reminds you of olden times, the nostalgic feeling. But, unfortunately, they fell victim the, the creators of that fan game fell victim to this C and D crap from Hasbro. Great, you know, good job Hasbro. Good freaking job for actually doing that. Now we will never ever get the chance to see a fighting game like that come to fruition. And there, some of you think, thinking, oh, you know, they can make their own fighting games and whatnot like that. Yeah. But I bet you they'll f they'll screw it up, you know. They will screw it up more than you can imagine. In the desert, the sand erases all trails and causes some travelers to get lost. Even some of these blocks aren't what aren't what they seem. Ooh, okay. Oh my God, I'm so screwed. Okay. What? I can't jump on them. Ah. Oh. World 2 everybody! World 2! Off to a crummy start! Off to a very crummy start. But yeah, like I was saying, the My Little Pony Fighting is Magic fan game, the creators of it, fell victim to the C&D BS, you know? And because of the C&D, the cease and desist order they got, we will never ever get to see such a fan game come to life again. Ever. Is it ever because of that you know this copyright thing is really really starting to make me upset 
and all someone's gonna say oh the Hasbro can make their own game what well, you have to be so worried about yes they can make their own game but more likely they're not they're gonna they're going gonna screw it up you know they will screw it up pretty badly they will I should know because usually fan games that are made are usually well more received than official commercial games that's because they have to keep up with all of this kind of technology and thing you know like it has to be 3d has to approve in today's modern world but you know what not everything has to be 3d sometimes it's good to have something standard like 2d brings you the nostalgic feeling because some of the bronies because yeah, because the bronies that actually made that fan game are probably in their 20s or 30s that grew up with, you know, games in the 16-bit era, the 2D thing, you know? So you really can't assume that everyone is... Oh my god, seriously? How do I get there? Oh, right. I have to shrink. You gotta be joking. Okay. Wow, I forgot all about that. But yeah, you know, some of the bronies that make them aren't born like, you know, in the 3D times, you know. They're born in the good old 6-bit tweet, 2D times, you know. So, usually something simple as such is best because, you know, what the hell? Oh, sweet, I can go back. Because, you know... Not everything that is 3D is great, you know. Everything 3D could suck. It could suck, you never know, right? It sucked before, it sucks now, you know. I'm saying, right? I can't believe the things are glitching out. Please don't glitch out on me, thank you. You know, screw you, you messed me up. Here, I'm gonna have to concentrate on this level and not talk about the BS that occurred, you know, like these season this season this is crap because it really sucks, you know. You think about it, seriously, it does suck. I have to constrain this. Is there something up there? Something up there? No, okay, I just wanna make sure. you whoa frick yes that's what I'm talking about I think this leads to the regular exit you know regular exit please yes it is if I get all the bonus stars like 100 bonus stars I will go to the same mini game I think that's the only thing that hasn't changed even the bosses haven't changed you know so yeah and that was desert world 2 normal exit and there is a secret exit here for the secret AC we will have to fly. Fly up here to be precise and exact. Can I get up there please? Yes, see, fly. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I'll think about it every night and day. I can't believe it's here, okay. Spread my wings and fly away, you know. But yeah, like I said, cease and desist, terrible, you know, very terrible thing, you know. Bring doesn't help anybody, only makes things worse, and whatnot, you know. Okay. Yes, right? Right? It does, ooh, did I get that? It makes things a whole lot worse for us, you know. 
the fact that things will never come to life because of the C and D. Yes. I think, you know, it's pretty cool to deny us of such greatness. That's how corporations are, they suck anyways. They're only protecting their investments, they're not thinking about the fans. You know, total BS if you ask me. Well, anyway, I hope now that I can beat this and that I don't die. Because if I die, I won't be able to do it, you know? Please don't let me die. Please don't let me die, I'm getting nervous as hell. I do not want to lose my fe my feather, right? My, yeah, my feather, right? My feather? My feather? Feather, right? Feather, feather, feather? Feather? Can I see anyone? Feather? Feather? Okay, come on. Jump down, please. There you go, thank you. There we go. Feather. Feather, right? Right, feather. Okay. Now, let's see if I remember this. I'm gonna have to go here. And, um, kill you. Hopefully, you won't be a factor in this and whatnot, you know? Right? No factor? No factor, no? Okay. Oh, boy. Look at that. Look at that thing. That... Good. I hope that I can kill this guy because he sucks. Wait a second. There is the stuff there. Okay. Oh boy. I hope and pray I can get there, please, because this. Freaking sprite limitations really starting to piss me off more than usual, you know. Very, very much so, you know. Sprite limitations, they suck. You can't even, you know, get the job done correctly at times. Yes. Okay, back there we go. Do we use it here? Yes, we do. Okay, alright. Alright. Can go here quickly? Yes. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. Right. And yeah, there we go. But yeah, you know, copyright and shit. You know, not a good thing sometimes. Kinda, you know, kind of, you know, um, destroys the possibilities and whatnot. You know. So yes. That's a shell. I don't need it. Look, it's a Yoshi. He doesn't say anything. Okay. So, that's my rant of copyright and cease and desist because cease and desist sometimes suck. And that some of the great things that could have been will never be because of it. So, yeah. Now, I have another rant. Late, yes, yes, last night I've been watching this commercial. It's called Catch Jeremy. You know, this T Mobile thing, right? I think it's a pretty stupid commercial. Very stupid. I mean, the parents are getting all worried because Jeremy has been racking up the bill. Now the parents are, have to are uh, are making or uh, are uh, what you call now have to. Okay, they have to. What? You, what the hell is that? Okay, they have to. What's it? What I'm looking for? Oh, shit. Okay. What's the word looking for? What do they have to do? They have to now not take but what's the word? They're not they're now hosting piano lessons. They're now hosting piano lessons for whatever amount, right? Just to for the them to pay the bill, you know? It's so stupid. Because you know here's the thing, the parents, if they're the ones paying the bill and it's under their name, they have the final say, you know? Jeremy has no right to rack up a bill that'll make the parents' lives miserable, you know? But yet, they end up saying that, you know, parent kids, they rule the parents. No, they don't. Kids don't rule the parents. Kids don't own the parents, you know? The, it, because it was the parents who brought the kids into the world, and if it wasn't for the parents bringing them to, into the world, you know? They wouldn't be here today, you know? I'm saying, right? You stupid freak. I knew they would come to back to haunt me. 
Whatever. But yes, you know. Hold on, I'll be right back. And I'm back. And when I last left off, a while ago, like about a couple of minutes ago, I was talking about... Oh yeah, this Catch Jeremy thing, you know, it's pretty stupid. You know, because now the parents are paying a bill, they're hosting piano lessons. They're trying to make extra money so that they can pay the bill. But you know, it's pretty stupid, it's pretty stupid because, you know, if the parents are paying the bill and it's under their name, then Jeremy's supposed to abide by that. This little Catch Jeremy thing is so stupid. Jeremy's supposed to abide by that, but you know, no. The parents, now I feel like the parents are being run down, you know, they're being bossed around by this Jeremy dweeb, you know, and it's stupid, you know, I mean, if I was the parents of Jeremy, and he did that to me, forcing me to, he's racking up a bill and I'm gonna pay it, I would most certainly cut him off of the plan, I don't have to pay his portion of the bill, I can just disable him, you know, because, Here's the thing, right? I have my own life and stuff to worry about, and he's gonna contribute to the BS, you know? I would most certainly want to cut him off of the plan. He can pay his own freaking bill, because if he can't show appreciation, then, you know, he can just... You know what I'm saying, right? I can't... Oh, wait a second. What the hell is this? Alright, okay. 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 Where go up here? Is there way back up here? Is there way back up here? Oh, freaking here. Please don't tell me screwed up. That's not what I want to hear or see or do or whatnot, you know? Oh boy! This is gonna suck. Oh, but I, I hope, please, I hope I didn't mess it up. This is gonna suck if I did. Oh my god, I think I did. <coughs> well, that sucks. But yeah, Jeremy, you wanna rack up a bill? If I was your parent, I would cut you off the plan. You pay your own bill. I don't need you. But if Jeremy, if it's under Jeremy's name, you know, and the parents have to pay for it, and he racks up a bill, uh, I wouldn't think so. I still wouldn't pay for a bill, you know, because, hey, you know. I don't want to end up using my savings that I created that, that I, you know, I don't want to end up using it my savings that I accrued, you know, that I, you know, I can't believe I can get back at it. Come on! Get back up there, Mario. Really? Really? This, this, oh, what? I could just done that. Wow. Well, that sucks even worse. I really hated this level. Seriously, I, when I first played this level, it kind of sucked. It sucks now, as a matter of fact. I am not happy about this level. I seriously am not happy. This level truly sucks. Can't even get the DC in that level. Great. Oh my god. Of course that happened. Why wouldn't it have happened? I hate you, Desert World 4. I really hate you with a passion. Seriously, I do. But now I even lost my train of thought about this catch Jeremy. You know what? I'll just talk about it again. I have, if I have to repeat myself, I will because this level really sucks. This level truly sucks. This level sucks so hard. I don't know if I can take it anymore. Cause this level is a total joke at times. You know? Oh boy. Okay. Because after I finish that one rant about Catch Jeremy, I can finally talk about the game itself. Be like nonchalant about it, you know. But for now, I'm just gonna have to deal with this horrible game, horrible level. And hopefully I don't die. Like I'll go the other way, so that way I'll have a... Good, 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 good. Good. Yes, I love you. I love you, shy guy. You messed me up so bad. I'm in love with you, man. You have, you have it. You, you, you have the power to mess me up. You see right there. I love you for it. Seriously, I do. I love you with a passion. So much so that I think I'm going to cry. Cry 
of misery and shame that I just can't seem to be this low at times, you know? I just cannot, because it's... I could break those blocks, but I'm not going to. It's not worth it. If I stay up here, I think I'll be fine. I won't have to worry. It's nothing to worry about. I got it. I got this, man. I got this. By the horns, you know? <clears throat> By the real freaking horns, you know? Awesome, if you ask me, you know? Very awesome. Oh, boy. This is gonna suck. I'm gonna have to time this. This is not fun. I'm gonna make a save state. Can I get this? Oh, never mind. The save state was unnecessary. And I really don't wanna die. I really, really don't want. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, this, this. This is doable. This is very good, you see? This is okay. Save state was unnecessary. But it was necessary in case I had to die, which really sucks. But yeah! That was Desert World 4. Man, never ever see this piece of crap level again. Seriously. It sucked. And if I recall the Desert Pyramid, which is next, it sucks even worse because it's a puzzle. 